everyone my name is vinny sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about theory of second best this theory is given by lipsey and lancaster in 1956 according to this theory if one or more pareto optimality conditions are not satisfied or we can say that if we are not able to achieve pareto optimality equilibrium point then we should leave this equilibrium and move to next best equilibrium and this next best equilibrium will be called second best equilibrium that means achieving pareto optimality is our first best equilibrium but because of any reason we are not able to achieve pareto optimality then we should move to next best equilibrium and this next best equilibrium will be called second best best equilibrium now with the help of this diagram we will understand theory of second best in this diagram on x axis we have x good and y axis we have y good this one p p1 this one is production possibility curve w w1 w2 w3 are social welfare indifference curve and higher social welfare indifference curve means welfare of society is increasing and lower uh, social welfare indifference curve means welfare of society is reducing cc this one is constraint curve and constraint curve mainly tell us because of some constraint because of some problems we are not able to achieve pareto optimality point now suppose our economy start with this k point but we can't move towards this e point because e is pareto optimality point Uh, our first best equilibrium because of some problems we can't achieve this e point so we can't move from k to this e point but we can move towards a r and b point uh, means we can move towards all point which lies on this constraint curve we will not move towards a and b point but we will surely move towards this r point but why we will not move towards this a and b point because a and b point lies on lower indifference curve w1 and lower indifference curve reduce welfare of society r point lies on higher indifference curve w2 and higher indifference curve increase welfare of society that's why we will move from k to r point this r point will be called our second best equilibrium point so this is all about the theory of second best i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care